Hi guys, and welcome back to Friday. And another portion of my daily makeup menu. I'm thinking of making this like a little thing every week where I could just quickly show you the stuff I'm putting on my face. If it's kind of different to what I've done before, I'll just kind of show you what I'm trying out rather than making it such a formal thing in like bigger videos. So welcome back. <laughs> Refreshing. Some more of this Vichy Mineral 89 Daily Booster. Because it is really nice. I always put too much into my hands though. That is fun. too much. And my fave, National Hydro Beauty Micro Cream. Let me run out this soon. Mm -mm -mm. And for some primer. No Too Faced Hangover Primer. Which I now love. Okay, face done. Do you want like to go for uh, your boring BB cream? I'll just something a little bit lighter today. Okay, so face is almost there. I'm just going to use this Tom Ford Alexander. Oh, I really like this Alexander. Aww. So this is my favourite one of all the lips and boys colours. Yeah, I didn't realise. Oh, this is my favourite one. Should we go to Whole Foods tonight? Mm, let's go spend seventy pound on olives. Yeah. So yeah, bit of Alexander on the lips. Alexander lips, and then for mascara. Gara because my eyelashes are still really good at the moment from my last LVL like they're probably the best they've ever looked I just keep using the Armani Eccentrico Eccentrico mascara because it's just amazing plus the thing I love about this mascara is you can really layer it and it doesn't get like I don't know why but when you layer it you can really keep combing through it I don't know it's great this is what I've been using on my eyelashes for the past few basically 10 days at least Oh, my LVL literally just changes my life. It's been so amazing. Mm -hmm. And then just to finish off my brows, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills and Chocolate Brow Pomade. And then at the front, I use the Benefit Gimme Brow in number three, just to brush up the front. And that's all I do. Super Troopers 2's coming out. Like it's out. It's You're been joking. Made. I don't know if it's been, it's out, but it's been made. Didn't that come out in like the 80s? No, it was made to, I think it was made to look like it was though. Oh. It's like a cult film though, isn't it? Have you seen it? I've seen vague bits of it before, before turning away from it. It was just a bit much, there were like people being like punctured with big alien metal bodies. What? You're thinking of the same film? Super Troopers. You're thinking of Starship Troopers? <laughs> <laughs> It's like complete, it's a comedy. How does she talk? Super true. I need to show you it. It's Not brilliant. seen it. Starship. <laughs> it's vulgar. Oops. Makeup done. So that's until when you'll see me actually see when I've put on my face. Love this mascara. The Giorgio Armani Eccentrico Mascara. Absolute winner. These brows, this is what I've been doing loads recently, just like really brushing them up. That is literally just with the Benefit Gimme Brow, just like two layers. And just brush them literally up to just get that more kind of like, a bit like soap brow effect. The RMS Champagne Luminizer is just, oh god, I just love it. And I love this lipstick. I'm really enjoying this really glossy look on the lips because it makes my lips look so much bigger. The more glossy they look, and shiny they just look more big and pouty so i love that and um usually something to my hair because this isn't gonna this is not gonna fly like this i've got my new necklace on i love it i love it and my new top i love this this is a j crew sweater so anyway i'm gonna head out now i'm going for my first meeting first off with red ken as you know love red ken and i'm going to larry king's salon later which is a red ken salon so i'm gonna go see red ken for a bit first say hey have some coffees and then on to my hair How amazing is this color? I'm living for this color. It looks so good. Let's have a good one. Right, so just finished up at Larry's. Love that salon so much. And I got to meet Larry as well. Lovely, lovely guy. So that was great. And now my hair is perfection. I love it so much, honestly. I get my hair coloured by Amy Fish at Larry's. She is a total dream boat. She's been dyeing my hair now for the past few years. Um, and I also had it cut by one of the lovely stylists. So it's just looking great now. I'm so happy. Now I'm on my way to dry by for a much needed nail appointment. Yay, look! So this was B. Demure. B. Demure, yeah. B. Demure. And hot pop pink. And then hot, hot, hot pink on my toes. I am home and 
I've had a bloody great day. I've been pampered to the nines. I just came home like a pampered pooch for Alex. New hair, new nails. These are so pretty. Yeah, like I said, these are beat Demure CND shellac at Dry By. And on my toes are hot pop pink, which is that beautiful like Barbie pink. Beautiful. Yeah, so we're just gonna knit to Sainsbury's now. <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> We're going to nip to Sainsbury's now for some dun 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 duns. I'm so pleased my plants still look absolutely fantastic. You'll see them there. Fantastic. I did such a good job. Although it's a little bit embarrassing in <laughs> the nail salon. Like, um, um, yes, the mud underneath my nails is from gardening. <laughs> She's like, really? <laughs> you were gardening? It's like, yes, I garden. I can garden. Making a big deal is gardening thing, but you're not telling anybody who got rid of all the old plants. Whose job was that? Yeah, it was Alex. Right, so you get a little saw and saw out all these dead plants, all these dead bodies out the garden. <laughs> You're over exaggerating a bit, aren't you? Well, no, Alex said that. Oh, so also, more. look how amazing this is. Cult Beauty just sent me a gift today. Subculture! And since I saw it in a little bag, I was like, no way is that the subculture palette. So thank you very much. I absolutely love Cult Beauty. It's one of my favourite places to buy from. And they sent it me a little. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, very nice, but I've been watching all of these different reviews on this and it's interesting the different types of reviews on it But I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go myself. I won't be doing a review because there's about 50,000 others of them It's your favourite um, number that? It's my exaggeration <laughs> number. I like to use that 50,000. Does anything ever going wrong in the world? It's always 50,000 of it. Yeah. 50,000. <laughs> You've left 50,000 socks on the floor outside. <laughs> there's 50,000 people in Sainsbury's early in the <laughs> Well, you know I'm exaggerating when I say that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna give it a go. You'll probably see me using it in the morning in one of my uh, makeup menu mornings. Makeup menu morning. Should make a jingle. I want a jingle. I'll get my little ukulele out. Makeup make. Makeup menu morning. Da. <laughs> Sometimes though, it won't be the morning, so maybe just makeup menu, makeup menu ding. So back from the gym. Sorry about this weird lighting we have going on here because we have no side tables anymore, no bedside tables. So um, the lights on the floor, hence why I look like I'm in the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, great time at the gym. I'm absolutely shattered, I must admit. It was a difficult one, I think, because I've been to the gym pretty much every night this week. And it was only yesterday that I missed, but I still did like a 30 minute ab workout at home. So I think I'm kind of feeling it now. I'm kind of tired. So back, I've showered, and now I thought I'd quickly go through what I'm putting on my face in the evening. Scott, this really is bad light. <laughs> so what am I using? Okay, as always, still on the Optrex. Night Restore Gel Drops, enjoying them. Then, I've been moving into the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. I have been using the Elemis Peptide Cream Oil, almost as like a serum, and it's absolutely beautiful. And then over the top, I have been using the Lancome Vision Ennui Beauty Sleep Perfecto, which I absolutely adore. It's almost like a jelly kind of substance. You can kind of see it, a bit of a jelly. Um, but it's just so nourishing. But I've just been playing around with recent Recently, this DCL Seascape High Potency Night Booster. This has like 30% vitamin C in it. It's pretty damn amazing. You can almost feel like the crystals of vitamin C on your skin. You actually can feel them on your skin. So I'm trying this out for the past few days and it's pretty damn good. So I'm going to put it on again tonight and let you know in the morning kind of how my skin is feeling. And then we can kind of test it. Morning guys! My skin is looking and feeling pretty damn great today actually. We're in a sort of plumped, I can still feel the sort of, almost like the residue of the vitamin C all over my face. So it still feels like super like, it's not, ta I don't know what it is, it's not sticky or tacky. It's just like, um, it's almost like an oil residue almost, you can just feel on it. So it just still feels like super nourished and everything. But yeah, I've not broken out overnight. Skin feels great, so thumbs up from me. Really liking that so far. Yeah, so it's Saturday morning, it's like half nine. I've just posted a blog post. I feel like just kind of chilling with Alex today and doing some nice things, so I'm gonna get myself ready ASAP. Hopefully go out for some nice breakfast somewhere. And Alex wants to go to Big Ben, so hopefully we'll go to Big Ben and take some pictures. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're probably gonna spend the day out today and have like a nice little day out. A couple of hours later and we are out of here. Quick trip to the post office to Pops. Quick. Quick trip to the post office first to post some big boxes <laughs> some and box then and uh, some boxes and bits and boxes, boxes and then out for some brekkie! It's break time! 
Okay, so the other day I saw Naomi coming here for the Day Rooms Cafe in Notting Hill. The menu is insane. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Ice, caramel, soy and milk. I don't care, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, guys, Naomi was right. This place is a dream. What did you get, babe? I don't know what is it is. It's just a breakfast bowl. The avocado breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, a the acai. How do you like it? I always say acai, but it's not. It's acai. Acai, acai. Acai, acai. acai bowl looks delicious. Um, I've got avocado and sourdough. We've got our soy coffees. I mean, I mean, it's raining a little bit, but it's really sweet just sat out here. We've been rained off. <laughs> we were just shooting some pictures in Westbourne Grove for a blog post, which will be up very, very soon. In fact, probably by the time you see this, I imagine. Yeah, so now we're on our way to. Whole Foods. It's the olive bar. We've actually not been there, what, have we? Should look back at my box and see when the last time was. But yeah, we're going to go get some olives and tasted things for dinner. And then we'll just head home and have a really nice chilled one. I might end up watching some films. That'll be nice. We're doing the rounds, aren't we? Yeah. Got lots of cool little bits. We're done. And Alex got some beers. And we're back in the flat. We're just gonna re-unpack everything. Got some great things for dinner though, I'm very excited. Got my Fentiman's Cherry Cola. We were gonna buy some wine and then we realized that the other day I got sent a beautiful package from Vestier Collective, which is somewhere that I get a lot of my designer handbags from, second hand. And we actually saw it in Whole Foods and it reminded us, how nice does this look? Oh, oh. It's Paula. The pool there, babe. Provence Miraval wine. So we're going to have that later, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> we I'm need actually to not drink. going to drink in a while. We've got a bottle of champagne though. We need to drink. Yeah, we need to drink all these things before we move, so that there's nothing in the fridge to move. Yeah. So thank you very much to Vestia for sending this. They, they sent that with a lovely little um, bouquet of lavender as well, which is gorgeous, and a beautiful little basket that I'm going to keep and put. What did I say I want to put in the basket? Well, here's the basket. We've got so much crap in here. Gorgeous too. little basket that I'm going to put a like a pot plant in, in the new place, like on the floor with a pot plant in it. So thank you're you, Vestia, for that. You've all that watermelon and you've wasted. Yeah, it's, that is a shame, actually. I should have had that. If we'd cut it up properly in the first place. Well, no, because it doesn't go as fret. You need to, like, keep it like that. No, I know, but it. if we'd cut it in the first place, I, I would have just kept going. I thought you were It's my favourite. Yeah. Anyway, I'm now going to do some filming. So many people now on my videos have been saying, like, I really like the vlog but we're in your normal videos and it's just because oh, oh, bougie, bougie, oh the best ice cream in mm. the world anyway back to what i was saying i am still making proper videos and there's loads that i want to make it's just with the way the flat currently <laughs> looks just like this i'm so uninspired right now to film in this location i just really want to get into my new place create my new backdrop but at the same time i really want to create some videos so i'm going to film two videos today which is going to be this sunday like in two days tomorrow and next sunday and then after that will be brand new fresh background and a bit more kind of like a bit more life into my background again so i'm excited so i'm going to do that now filming done 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 and it's only 20 to 5 yes i managed to film two videos i filmed sunday video i filmed two sunday videos <laughs> i filmed the favorites and i filmed a kind of luxury new one so by the time you've seen this it'll be up the luxury one definitely will be i'll leave it on the screen now for you just in case you haven't seen that it's all the kind of newest premium designer kind of luxury pieces that um i've picked up so i hope you like that and then there'll also be a favorites video the week after that and then this is the very very last time i have to film in this room i'm so excited Nothing needs to be put away um, i'm doing potatoes with like so probably like an almond milk and olive butter i'm doing this is just like a courgette car what does carrot what do you call carrot carotti <laughs> i don't know so it's just like carrot and courgette that spiralized with garlic salt and pepper and some oil so i'll be getting that through in a minute we've got some place in the oven and place fillets and we've got our little olive selection and i'm having a glass of on a glass of wine that i mentioned earlier and i've just been watching some youtube videos also just had a bit of a coughing fit don't know where that came from but <coughs> Lasted for a couple of minutes. So, um, yeah, I'm in full cooking mode now. Ah, the fruits of my labour. <laughs> One of the last times we'll be sat out eating dinner with this view. Can't say I'm overly bothered. No, nope. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, so we've got my vegan mash, spiralised carrot and courgette with garlic. And it smells very garlicky, so beware. Uh, Placed fillet, a bit of hummus, a bit and of our delicious olives. And oh, some yes. wine. Bon appetit, babe. So we bought this and it's not cheap ice cream, but what Vic does is there's this like beautiful kind blah, of blah, blah, chocolatey blah. stuff. Kiss my ass. She eats all this and then leaves all the crap boring bit to me. That other boring bit. I like, no, don't you dare, don't you. Oh my God, look, you, 
No, Alex, no, that's not fair. Babe, me one of these. stop it, the stop it, stop it. You're having a laugh a bit there. That's not fair. A laugh a bit? You're having a laugh a bit? <laughs> Good morning guys, Sunday morning. We're just having a very, very chilled one today, just doing like editing, photo editing, video editing, etc, etc. So today I'm going to make some acai bowls for me and Alex. Pretty excited about it, seeing as we had some yesterday, we're now a bit obsessed and I want to try my own. So um, I've been looking online for like some recipes to see like exactly what I'm doing. It looks kind of straightforward and we've got all the ingredients, so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to make this for me and Alex. So we picked up these yesterday, these acai frozen mixes. This is total trial and error by the way. And because I want to make two bowls, I'm pretty sure that I use two of these. Yeah, that's just a massive chunk. I'm going to put in a banana. And I think this is a big banana, I might just do the one. I've got some strawberries. So apparently you can put in anything that you really like, like berries. So I thought, oh, I'll put in my favourites then. Good old straws. Ten. Oh, I put in some oats. Three to four tablespoons of rolled oats. One teaspoon of maple syrup. I'm just gonna use honeys. Mm. Two, table, two tablespoons. Two teaspoons. Tablespoons. Oh, and then I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use almond milk. Two to three cups. So this is probably quite a bit. Actually, I'm gonna add another banana. Seeing as it's for two. One more banana. Why not? Right. Let's see how we go on with this. Get your bullet. Here comes the noise. Okay, so first attempt at my acai, acai bowl. Okay, maybe put a bit too much milk in this. I mean, it still looks great. Ooh, probably not quite as thick as it should be. Tastes absolutely divine. Divine. Oh, that's so actually freaking delicious. What can I do? What can I do to thicken this up? I'm gonna put a little bit more oats in here. Now it's time for some toppings, so. Don't know now though if the banana and things are gonna sit on the top of this or not, but it tastes pretty great either way. Right, so I'm doing banana layer. Then I'm gonna do goji berries. Layer of goji berries. And I'm gonna do some very dark raw chocolate cocoa nibs. Look at these, do they look great? Oh yeah. Is it easy yeah. to make all this stuff? Well, uh, I still need to, it's probably a little bit liquid in mine. First, first time, not bad. Then I'm gonna do a line of chia seeds. Yeah, you're going pro on it, are you? I'm going pro styler. I'm well chuffed is. Yeah, that's good. Then I've got a line of coconut chippies. Yeah, I want a bit of nut butter, so I'm gonna put on some of this coconut almond meridian. Here of that. Yeah, and then we found this like bag of mixed nuts, um, pumpkin seeds, cranberries, um, almonds, and cashews. So they can just go with here. Alex has wonderfully been out and got some Nero's. Oh, got our own acai. Look how great this looks. That's awesome. Doing a good job though. First time. I'm so pleased. Now, you gotta eat it. Yes. A few hours later now, guys, actually. The bowl for breakfast was absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna slightly modify that recipe and put slightly less milk in it and it'll be absolutely perfect. It was so delicious. We both ate every single bit of it. And we've just been tidying up the flat a little bit because our landlord has decided she wants to come round and see the place. So we've just been sort of putting things to right. And also it kind of gives a bit of a push to do like loads of the washing and things. So I've been doing all that kind of really mundane stuff. I've been editing today's video that's gone up. So I've just been sorting all that out. So that's all done. And um, all that's really left to do now is do some more packing. So I'm gonna do some packing under the bathroom. I'm not gonna, and I'm gonna do my shoe collection. Hence why I look like this today, no makeup. I pretty much these vlogs are always me and no makeup. <laughs> if you're new here, sorry about that. Yeah, shoes and bathroom I'm gonna do today. And then I'll just wanna go to the gym and that'll be kind of my Sunday complete. Pretty much. So I'll check in with you in a little bit. So I'm commencing the packaging of my uh, bathroom collection. <laughs> and I'm here so far actually. I'm doing okay. This box is entirely filled with shampoos and conditioners, if you would believe it. I've got a massive bag here of things to give to charity and also some things that are very old that I've just found. Yeah, this is a bit crazy. This is pretty much all L'Oreal and L'Oreal Pro. This is pretty much all red can. This is Purology. It's a bit of a Veda. And a little bit of Tiji as well, which are like, these are all my favorite. <laughs> it's just, I can't get rid of these because they're all too amazing and I will hopefully get to them at some point. A bit crazy. Hi guys, okay, a bit of time has passed. I have just been commenting back on a few new comments on my new video. It just went up, it's actually half seven. It, like, it literally feels like four o'clock, but I don't know where this day has gone. I did all of the bathroom 
so all the bathroom is now packed i've got loads of stuff to take to charity which is great so that's all packed up now we had a little visit from the landlords that came around us to have a look at the flat and check that it was looking great which it is um so that's good and then yeah i've just been like getting my video ready commenting back so i think i'm gonna quickly go to the gym just make sure i get a good gym hour in um get back and then hopefully alex may have cooked me some dinner i hope so <laughs> Back from the gym, had a really, really good session. I just did like 20 minutes on the cross trainer, 10 minute run, and then I did the leg inductor, leg abductor for quite a while. And then I did some abs, and I did some Carly Rowena abs. Um, if you go on at Carly Rowena, her Instagram, she's a very, very good friend of mine, but she does some incredible Insta videos of like little mini um, workouts. And she just recently put up one that was an ab workout. I will leave a link down below to it. There's like four moves in it, and it's an absolute killer for like lower abs it's amazing so i did it the other night and i've done it again just now and it's so good i'm absolutely shattered now if you're looking for a little bit of inspo for when you're at the gym and you're kind of lying down you're like what can i do next so good just going on carly's instagram looking through her video she does like one nearly every day she's amazing so go follow her if you don't already because she'll give you all the gym inspo 